I like this cat too. She's very beautiful, very She's very lynx-like. She was brought in because the person could not take care of her and she had a lot of ticks. So Eleven. We, Eleven, and yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> and she had all the different kinds of ticks oh, on yeah, her. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. So when she came over and she was over at Quick Fix, this year is the worst year ever, ever for ticks. Uh, something about the moist, the moisture, um, the very warm winter, the very war moist sum spring, and now the cool summer. Something about it is causing all kinds of ticks. Um, people are getting them. More animals have come in for surgery with ticks on them than, than ever. It's like night and day. She came in with 11 ticks, and ticks are, to my knowledge, there are six different species of ticks or, you know, that we have to worry about, and there's probably lots more, but there's six different varieties that a product we now have and carry at Quick Fix is called Effatix for dogs and Effapro for cats. It is a, a topical, and it is specifically just to kill ticks. It actually will repel them before they even take a meal. So oh. most of the most of the preventatives, they have to take a meal from the blood system because the poison's in the blood system. It actually will repel just getting on the coat. It'll repel them off. Wow! Um, and actually, can um, we we saw the video? It could kill them just being on the animal. It's so bizarre, but. Um, so the Effatix is a product that will kill all the species of tick. Revolution, everybody loves Revolution for their heartworm preventative for dogs. Um, Revolution is for cats too. They don't usually get heartworm in this area at all. We don't know, we might start seeing it because everything's changing, but we just don't see heartworm in cats. I saw one in 13 years, I saw a cat die of heartworm. It just doesn't really exist up in the north. and. Um, so Revolution does ear mites, that's the best thing. It does ear mites, heartworm preventative, fleas. Um, it does uh, one type of tick, only one type of tick. I think it's the deer tick. It does one type of tick. But, um, so you can't use two topicals at the same time. So, on, an, on a pet, but you can use an, a chewable and a topical at the same time. So we have been telling folks if you have a lot of ticks, like this little girl, on a cat, you want to switch to Effapro right now because it will keep off the flies. It actually, the flies wow. don't land on them, the ticks don't land on them. Effapro, E-F-F-I-P-R-O, and Effatix is E-F-F-I-T-I-X, and you can look it up online, and we do sell both of them at Quick Fix. We have to see your pet one time in order for you to be able to purchase up to 12 for the year. We only have to see your pet one time. They can come in. But um, those ticks on her could yeah. have been deadly. I mean, they were taking a meal, every one of them. And they, they chew, they eat off the blood system and it makes them anemic. And that was a lot of ticks to be yeah. having to deal with, you know. Poor baby. So, But she's great now. Oh, and she's, she's a fantastic. sweetheart. She's fantastic. She's beautiful. You know what color she is? Okay, we talk about colors all the time on this show because um, people, that's one of the fun things that we do. She is called a brown, see the brown nose? Mm -hmm. So anytime their nose is brown, the hair color, not the color here, that's a rust color nose. Those are amber color eyes. This coloring on her fur right there, look at she loves it. She's just <laughs> loving it. That little nose color right there is an indicator that her undercoat is brown. Okay, see all the brown in her coat? Yes. Okay, so a lot of times when they are a brown, see the brown on his nose? Oh, and he's so <laughs> handsome. Um, the brown on their nose is an indicator of the undercoat. Um, and he's a brown tabby, and she's a brown tabby. Now the difference is the length of their coat. So the coloring is brown tabby. There's more though, there's more description coming up, but the length of their coat tells us what kind of breed this cat is. These are not pure breed cats. These are domestic haired cats. These are domestic cats. Their breed is domestic short hair. 
and domestic medium hair. Now she's a medium hair because she's got this beautiful long plumy tail. That's not a long haired cat because she has some short hairs. See these? Everything would be super long, but it's not. She has some long hair, some short hair. So that's a medium haired cat. That's a domestic medium hair cat. That's her breed. This cat's breed is domestic short hair even though they're the same color, but are they the same color? We don't know until we look at the side of the cat. Let's look at the side of the cat, okay? Let's hold her up and let's see what color. So the side of the cat right here is, see these stripes right there? That's called a mackerel tabby. This M on the forehead, Andy, can you see his M? It's so clear. It's right here. Um, whoops, hello, handsome. Right here, one and two. It's, it's a Murado cat. <laughs> <laughs> I would say those are Murado cats. Look at her M. It's beautiful. Sometimes they're perfectly connected, but you see that Evelyn right there? That little M on her forehead? Yeah. Okay, those, anytime there's an M on the forehead, that is a tabby cat. Then there are four colors of tabbies. And he is a striped, but its actual name is mackerel tabby because the mackerel fish has all these stripes on the side. So they named him after the mackerel fish actually. And so this cat is a brown mackerel tabby. That's his real coat color. A lot of people call them tiger tabbies. That's what we get, we, we say at Quick Fix, what's the color of your cat? They say tiger. Well, tiger, he's a brown tiger tabby. But we also have orange tabbies, gray tabbies, you know, black tabbies, brown tabbies. Yeah. I mean, so you have to give us a color. The color is actually the undercoat, because they're all black stripes, right? So it's really what's underneath there. When you flip it up like that, you can see brown. So he's a brown striped, that's the other way, the name, that's actually three different names for these guys. The truest color is mackerel, it's a brown mackerel tabby. This little girl has a lot of what's called ticking, ticking. And the rabbits are ticked. They have, hi sweets. Oh, this one, I'll show you this one. This is a brown classic tabby. Come here, come here, Ziva, Ziva. I'll see if I can. I know, okay, oh wow. Okay, this is a classic tabby. See the big circular, the big bullseye, it's round. Remember that a C is round, so classic tabby. And there's always a bullseye on the side of a classic tabby. It's not striped, it's circular. There's also a spotted tabby. And the spotted tabbies actually are cats with the lines that are broken. There's like a break in the line, so they look more spotted than the full line. But the tick tabby, that's God's original plan. So the ticking is the fact that, see we have a lot of ticking in here. This is just a marbly, muted, very camouflaged cat. It can blend in anywhere. It's got so many colors. And then it can have up to 21 colors in one piece of hair. So it'll start out light and go dark and it could go back to light. Um, she, her ticking isn't that intense where I've seen cats with ticking that goes from light to dark to light to dark again. Um, she's just nice and bright underneath, but you see it's just beautiful. But she still has stripes. You see the stripes in her coat? See the stripes in her coat? And, uh, but she's got a lot of ticking. It's beautiful, especially in her beautiful. tail. It's just gorgeous, like a raccoon. Beautiful cat.